In this New York theater, a pillar of the U.S. music history is on the bill. The off-Broadway show Little Girl Blue immerses spectators in the life of Nina Simone. To get into the character before she hits the stage, artist and writer Lionel Michel undergoes a lengthy preparation, which she doesn't mind, telling the story of the civil rights activist was dear to her heart. I decided that as an artist it's important that we, as black people, own our stories and tell our narratives because nobody can step into these shoes better than we can. So that's, that's the whole mission here, and I'm really proud of this piece. The two-hour show includes songs like Feeling Good or Love Me or Leave Me, classics that contributed to the legend of Simone, who died in 2003. When I was growing up, you know, Nina Simone was buried, you know, in history. Uh, she was constantly told to sit down and shut up, you're being too loud, you're the angry black woman. So really it was my mission to bring all that noise to the front and answer those questions. Why was she so unsettled? Why was she angry? You know, why was she so deeply sad? However, the writers couldn't bring everything to the front. A battle has been brewing over right to Nina Simone's songs. The team was therefore unable to perform the single's originals and had to leave out emblematic songs like Mississippi Goddamn. Nina Simone was a classically trained artist. She loved Bach. She, and really, what she signed up to do was to be a classical a pianist, to be the first black classical pianist. But because of uh, the climate of our country, she had to step up to the plate and fight for her people, you know, and sing protest songs. And so she's, she was thrown into the jazz world heavily. Lionel Michelle aims to take the show to one of Broadway's prestigious theaters where biopics honoring Bob Dylan, Tina Turner, and Michael Jackson have come out. A way to put Nina Simone once again on the big stage where she belongs, according to Michelle.